It's Wrestling Night in Iowa. I'm Midnight Guthrie. Welcome to 3X Wrestling. Tonight's matches, we've got some great action from our recent event in Boone, Iowa. I want to say hello to the fans of Boone. Great crowd on hand there, and I can't wait to come back. But coming up for 3X Wrestling, live action July 27th, the 3X Wrestling 7th anniversary event, the Baratas at Forte Coliseum in Des Moines. The biggest event of the year for 3X Wrestling, the biggest event in the Midwest for professional wrestling. As we have three very special guest stars from Ring of Honor Wrestling coming in to take on 3X Wrestling's best. Tony Kazina comes to town. He's one of the greatest veterans in the sport today. A real grizzled, nasty man. He's going to be taking on one of the fastest men in wrestling today, Jason Strife, the Bulletproof Tiger. Kyle O'Reilly comes to town, one of the hardest strikers in wrestling today, to battle the world's fittest wrestler, Mark Sterling, a former 3X Wrestling heavyweight champion. And in our main event... Our current 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the professional Benjamin Saylor, battles one of the greatest wrestlers in the world today. Former Ring of Honor World Champion Davey Richards, a first-time battle between these two. Should be a phenomenal technical wrestling contest. You're not going to want to miss it. If you do, you might regret it the rest of your life. July 27th in Des Moines, the 7th anniversary event. Visit 3xwrestling.com right now to order tickets and for more card information. And now, let's go to the matches. Please welcome back to the ring. Standing five foot ten. Waiting at 190 pounds. From Paradise Valley, Arizona. The incredibly manly well, Matt Hollinger, this should be an excellent singles contest as we have the the charismatic, the flamboyant Sparrow taking on Sir Bradley Charles. So the first time meeting between these two gentlemen. And that is quite the outfit Sparrow has uh, donned tonight here in Grinnell, Iowa. I gotta say, I'm a fan of that. That man looks good. Despite this being a first time matchup, these two actually have some bad blood developed from that battle royal we saw earlier this evening, as it was Sparrow that surprisingly eliminated Sir Bradley Charles. And when you say eliminated, I believe you mean he launched him into orbit over the top rope. It was an impressive show of strength by Sparrow. Your referee, Jeremy Robb, he really did a number on uh, checking to make sure Sparrow wasn't hiding any foreign objects on those trunks. He got a little handy. Well, I wouldn't say that. He's just he's one of the best refs around. He was just doing a fine, fine, detailed job. Oh. I like this kid's moxie. Both of these are young competitors. They've been, I believe, Sparrow's been wrestling about four years now. SBC in his third year as a pro. SBC trained by Lance Storm up in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I believe you mean Calgary, yeah, Alberta, that's Canada. That's what I said. No, you said Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Oh, it's used. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Excuse me. Huge opportunity for Sparrow. I mean, as we know, Sir Bradley Charles, a former pure wrestling champion, is really making a name for himself all over the Midwest. Uh, and Sparrow, he is one of the top talents locally around the state of Iowa. But he really wants to branch out and really make a name for himself it, not just in the Midwest, but he wants to start traveling the country on a regular basis. So 
Certainly a feeling out process here. Charles seems a little too cocky for my liking. No more so than Sparrow. Sparrow's flamboyant. Charles, he's just he's just cocky. So Sir Bradley Charles has had his issues recently with the anarchist Eric Cannon, and now also thrown in the mix is our new 3X Wrestling Pure Wrestling Champion, Perry Saturn, who defeated Sir Bradley Charles and Eric Cannon in a triple threat match at Spring Showdown 3. It's one of the hardest hitting matches we've seen in 3X Wrestling in a while. It was unbelievable, oh, Guthrie. A tremendous match. And really, the way the match ended was SBC getting knocked off the apron thanks to Saturn pushing Cannon into the ropes and then doing that leg sweep into the roll-up on Cannon. It took both Cannon and SBC by surprise, but a great veteran move to win the championship. And certainly SBC is looking to get back on the winning track here tonight against Sparrow. Who uh, clearly Sparrow is very motivated to get a win here over the likes of SBC. It's kind of a harder edge to SBC than we've seen in a long time. What an elbow! Nice drop toe hold. It wasn't very sports. Oh! oh! Drop kick right to the face. Did you see the height on that? Flew above the ropes. Oh, nice move by Sparrow, though. A desperation tactic, but a very savvy one at that. Oh, running knee to the face. Cover. That's got to be it. Kick out at two. Now we've really got a match on our hands here. These guys are really going at it. Nice show of strength with the body slam. I would say SBC has the power advantage, but Sparrow's at no slouch himself. He's in tremendous shape. He's actually been working out so much, he's run into a recent issue where his tattoos are starting to stretch out due to his muscles developing. No comment. Well, I mean, that just shows how hard he works in the gym, that he is putting personal looks aside in an effort to be a champion professional wrestler. Oh, nice counter there by Sparrow. That's what happens when you play it's to the just, crowd a little too much. Just as the crowd was getting on SBC's side, that gave Sparrow an opportunity. That's a very nonchalant, oh, the fist pump, the fist pump by Sparrow. Very nonchalant taunt there. And really, he just got the upper hand. That is not a very good time in the matchup to be showing off, in my estimation. Oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, what a cut, and that's not going to get the job done. We know Sparrow also teams up. We've seen him team up with the very unorthodox Mitch Black. They are a team you are very fond of. My favorite tag team in 3X Wrestling. Nice By suplex far. there. Here we go. Oh, look at the elevation on very that leg drop. Very unorthodox leg drop. I mean, I guess he was gathering some momentum, but uh, I don't know if elevation is the word I would use. He was there. gathering power, Guthrie. Oh, pure, you. unadulterated power. Well, it certainly fired up SBC is what a chop there. Nice European uppercuts. Oh! Misses the drop kick. Oh, nice smart move by Sparrow to immediately go for the cover as SBC hit his head very hard on the mat. Sparrow claims he's gonna put this guy away. Oh, running hip attack. Almost took out Jeremy Robb, another hip attack. I like to call that the what's he Now what's he going up for here? It's taking a lot of time to set up this one. Gathering power once again. Oh, it took too much time. SBC hits the ropes himself. Big clothesline. Nails him. An elbow. Oh, what a chop. You can hear that back at Grinnell College. I can feel that. Lake Lariat, trademark move of his trainer, Lance Storm. 
Better watch Bear out. Bear with the haymaker right hand misses into the jabs. Nice combo. Oh, yeah. Right into the right hand. I love it. A little too showy for me. And SPC is incredibly motivated right now. He wants to get his hands back on that pure wrestling title. Counter out of the good long kiss. Good night. Oh, he had the tights. He almost had them there. What he didn't grab that the tights, been. Guthrie. He clearly had the tights. He did not grab the tights. Oh, counter. That would have been a devastating kick to the throat. Long kiss. Good night. Nails it. Nails it. And your winner, Sir Bradley Charles. Big win for him here in Grinnell. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the tea to the Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. It's the biggest wrestling event of the year. July 27th, live in Des Moines, the 3X Wrestling 7th anniversary event. Come celebrate seven great years of 3X Wrestling with some special guest stars. In grudge match action, we have Darren Corbin taking on the rock star Jimmy Rockwell. This match is months in the making. Will Rockwell get his revenge on Corbin? The punk rock icon Tony Sly takes on 3X Wrestling Commissioner Todd Countryman and Genesis teammate Gage Octane in handicap match action. Delicious Devin Carter and fellow Genesis member Nate Bash take on Sir Bradley Charles in a triple threat match. Can he overcome the odds? In 3X Wrestling Tag Team Championship action, the Milan Management Agency with Chad Milan challenge the American Bulldogs for the championship in what should be a wild contest and the renewal of a great 3X wrestling rivalry. The Bulletproof Tiger Jason Strife takes on Ring of Honor superstar Tony Kazina in his 3X wrestling debut. Also from Ring of Honor, Kyle O'Reilly takes on the world's finished wrestler Mark Sterling in a dream match. And speaking of dream matches, for the 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, the professional Benjamin Saylor defends the championship against former Ring of Honor World Champion, Davey Richards, the American Wolf. This should be a true technical classic. You don't want to miss it, folks. 3X Wrestling 7th Anniversary Event live. July 27th, Baradas at Forte Coliseum in Des Moines. Visit 3xwrestling.com right now for four ticket information. Are you into WWE or 3X Wrestling? Then we have the place for you to hang out every Monday night and Sunday WWE pay-per-view events monthly. The Keg Stand in West Des Moines at 3530 West Town Parkway. Every Monday night you can hang out with 3X Wrestling staff and wrestlers while we watch Monday Night Raw. Plus the monthly WWE pay-per-view events including WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam and more. Friend 3X Wrestling and the Keg Stand on Facebook and we'll keep you updated. See you at the Keg Stand for wrestling, drinks and great food from Bach Catering. Introducing first this is a one fall 15 minute time limit. She stands five feet five inches tall from Dodge City, Kansas. Who say Mendes? This should be a tremendous battle launcher. These two ladies might be two of the vicious strikers on the whole card tonight. Absolutely. Look at her. Man alive. I don't see. You know, there, there's some beautiful women here in the crowd tonight here, Boone, but it's Where? Good to see a woman like Lou Mendes walk into town. You point one out to me. What? There and there and she looks like a fun lady over there. Oh yeah, she looks like a funnel cake lady. Now come on, Hol Hollinger, come on. Yeah, man. We're gonna get us kicked out of these towns. <laughs> that is the plan. That's all right, buddy. I'm aware of your taste in women. It runs and a what do you think about Lucy Mendez here?
Miss Natural, the veteran. Student of Harley Race. Both these ladies trained at the Harley Race Wrestling Academy, as did the official tonight, referee Jeremy Robb. Gotta hit Jeremy Robb. These women hit very hard. Now, Lucy Mendez, she can be very underhanded. She likes to use that beauty to her advantage to just really pull over ones over on her opponents. I'm going to tell you, Guthrie, I like both of these competitors. I think, I think tonight everybody wins. You think everybody wins tonight? Absolutely. This should be a real phenomenal contest. I'm looking forward to it. Lucy Mendez still simmering over that loss to Andrews Lane recently in Grinnell, Iowa. And as tonight, it was actually Miss Natural undefeated here in 3X Wrestling against the also undefeated Andrews Lane. Andrews Lane unfortunately could not compete here tonight out with an injury. But Lucy Mendez stepped up to the plate and said she wants to stop Miss Natural's undefeated streak here in 3X Wrestling. I like that attitude. It's a nice display of technical wrestling here by both these women. There you go, headlock takeover. Spreads the legs out to really give herself a better base on the hold. Leverage advantage. See, Mendez, look at that, using her forearm, and look at that, just like that. Applies a head scissors. Bridge up by Miss Natural. The larger of the two women, but by no means is either one of them large. No, that's just misleading looking into the ring because Jeremy Robb is such a scrawny, putrid little man. Yeah. Yeah. I told you how much you I dislike to, Jeremy. Yeah, Rock. you have to verbally abuse the man. As yeah. Miss Natural works her way out of this into a side headlock. Yeah. Mendez had that head yeah. scissors in there tight, too. Oh. Oh. So is Natural is might have had to use a lot of her strength to even get out of that one. And in this heat, it'll be interesting to see who gets winded first. As cardio wise, I know Lucy Mendez works out on her cardio quite a bit, but she can't match the strength of Miss Natural. Mendez, I'm sure, is looking for opportunities to use some of those underhanded tactics. She's also a good technical wrestler. Likes to Bridging take her the skies as well. Look at this. I don't think Lucy Mendez is used to bending like that. I wouldn't be so sure. And she, wow, nice show of strength by Lucy Mendez. Oh, Miss Natural has her down again. That's a really oh, and look at that. Mendez pulls the hair, and that's what she's going to have to do in this matchup. I mean, I want to see sportsmanship, but that's one way she can get on the even playing field here with Miss Natural. Pulls the hair and then bails out of the ring. Once again, Jeremy Robb not doing his job. Well, it looks like Lucy Mendez is taking a breather. I mean, I can't question any of the athletes tonight for one of the quick breaths. It's 90 degrees out here. Miss Natural reminding Jeremy Robb to do his duties as a referee. Well, we've seen in the past uh, Jeremy Robb, uh, a top-notch official here in the Midwest. I don't know about that. It's a little, uh, let's we'll say, starstruck in these women's matches. He, he definitely gets up for these women's matches. Oh, look at this, Texas Cloverleaf, just like that, from the double leg takedown. That was incredible, just that quick. Lucy Mendez fighting to get to the ropes. Nice, man. She's clearly been working out her upper body because she's really finding a way to get to the ropes here. But that had to take a lot out of Lucy Mendez. Her backs and legs have to be in serious pain right now. The backs? Yeah, both of them. I didn't plural that. And if I did, I got it from the ground. Knee lift there by Miss Natural. Uh oh. Knee right to the head, running knee. Wow, what a strike. To a swinging sidewalk slam. The crowd's very impressed. I am as well. A good back and forth contest. Just tossing her around. She's a very strong, intimidating woman. I like it. What does Lucy Mendez got to do here? To find old foot. Steps on the foot into a jawbreaker. Savvy move. Both these women are veterans of the sport. Miss Natural now thinking her 11th, 12th year of professional wrestling. A five-time 
former WLW Women's Champion. That's Harley Race's home promotion. Many of his students go on to wrestle for that company. Lucy Mendez, a former Women's Champion down there as well. Goes for the cover, smart move. I thought she had debilitated her enough, choking her on the ropes. Natural powerfully kicks out. Big flubby blow there by Mendez. Right into the can. I like that. that is, she's got a great attitude. Natural trying to work her way out of the ring. Just give herself an opportunity to collect herself. Big four. Wow. She's going to want to hold on to those ropes. It's oh, clothesline. Nails. Oh, gravel out there. That's not something that is. Yeah, this is a very dangerous environment. Certainly no padding outside the ring. Yeah. Snap mare. Oh, holds on to the hair. Another snap mare. Three in a row. Innovative series of moves. Oh! Double stomp? Is that what I just saw there? I believe so. Vicious move. Very quickness there. Jim Mirab slow with the count. That was quite a shot. Ooh! Devastating, flowing shots with the forearm. Come on, let her out the corner. Get her out the corner. Come on. Come on. Let her out the corner. Come on. Lucy, is looking at Oh, chop. Now, is that a psychological advantage or an actual physical advantage there, Holly? You're licking your hand on the chops. Oh, uh, beats me. Well, I would imagine you're, you're getting some of that sweat off your hand to give yourself a cleaner surface to work with so it doesn't just slide down the chest. I think she just likes the taste of her hand. Oh! What a hip attack there. That's all that lap booty, baby! Hair toss? No way. Oh! Uh, oh that's not nice. Now come on! Put on the rope! It's on the rope! It's on the rope! It's on the rope! in the battle! fighting out of this one. Now we have a striking exchange. In these women's matches here at 3X Wrestling, we see a lot of vicious striking. Just like that. Right. Well please kicks in the midsection. Absolutely. Between these two women and Angelus Lane, we've got some of the hardest hitting women in the Midwest. Brad and Boone is not fans of Lucy Mendez. Well, I'll cheer for her. Come on, don't do that. I can't wait to see you try to get her phone number at the end of the evening. You act like I don't already have her phone number. Well, you continually surprise me. I'm full of surprises, buddy. Full of surprises. Nice monkey flip there. Matt Natural's in a bad way right now. Cover. Kick out by Miss Natural. Two. Hold him up. Just two. Hold him up. Can I ask a favor of you, Guthrie? What's up? We start uh, running some of these outdoor shows in like October instead of June or July. This is Iowa. There's a chance it will be snowing in October, Holland. I'll put up with that. This, this heat is killing me, buddy. And they're not even selling alcohol. How am I supposed to That's do my job without a beer? How am I supposed to do my job without a beer? Have water. We need to wander over to this wedding reception and see what they've got to drink. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Miss Natural. Fall away slam. Tremendous. As Mendes thought she had her feet with that crossbody. Wow, that's body impressive off power. Big clothesline. Wow. What a takedown. An elbow. I believe some of Miss Natural's hair has fallen out. There's a reversal. Look at it. Fisherman Neckbreaker into a frigid uh -oh. pin. And that will do it. Miss Natural, your winner here at Boone. Great contest between these two women. Absolutely. Way more women's wrestling here in 3XW. So undefeated, Miss Natural.
sometime in the future, we will have that Angel Slain Miss Natural matchup, and I can't wait for that one. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. She truly went over the fans with that one. Wrestling has events all over Iowa, and we want you there. Experience the on-site action. Visit the 3XW store and meet the wrestlers, including national and regional favorites, TNA wrestlers, WWF and WWE Hall of Famers, NWA champions, and of course the all-stars of 3X Wrestling. of wrestling entertainment for $15 or less. Monthly TV tapings take place at the Baratas at Forte 3XW Coliseum in downtown Des Moines, the fourth Friday of every month, where doors open at 7 and bell time is 7.30. Check out 3XWrestling.com for more details and to sign up and find out when we're coming to your community. 3X Wrestling, you gotta be there.